Wow, how did you love those couples getaways? I mean, like I said, we're always shopping every week with everyone I else know, out there. Those are so perfect. If you're like us, a couple, and you're being a digital old man, you want to travel the country, see so much space, so versatile. I love the back, um, the back bathroom on that one. It always feels like it's just so much more space when the bathroom's in the back, but Totally. Guys, it's Tiffany and Kayla from us, the Remingtons. Welcome again to day two. So exciting. So many things coming up. Yes. We're actually going to start transitioning into travel trailers to entertain, which is something that we love to do pre-COVID era. Yep, yep. 2019 BC, before but COVID. Hopefully soon enough, we'll be starting to entertain again. Yeah, absolutely. I think what these next models are going to offer mm -hmm. are space for a plenty of people. Plenty of people and also space to sleep as well cuz you know sometimes you just need a little bit of a sleepover a after a party. little little party. Yeah, yeah. party Up hearty. next we have the Heartland Fuel 287 and this thing you're going to be shocked when you see it. One of the types of RVs that are often overlooked, we talk about entertaining, is toy haulers. And and I understand because most people think well a garage, you know, I don't have any toys that I'm bringing. But I'm telling you, if you're looking to entertain, toy haulers are one of the absolute best for several different reasons. One, they tend to have big open floor plans, which if you're entertaining, you have a lot, you know, you generally want a lot of people. You want a lot of seating and toy haulers are going to offer that. A lot of them, like the Fuel 287 that we're in, also has a party deck out the back. I wish I could have dropped it. Unfortunately, we're backed right up to a fence, so I'm not able to show you that. But when this drops down, you have a party deck system all the way around there, and that is more entertainment space. You can set chairs up out there. You know, I have a sofa here. I have two chairs over there. I have two bench seats here. Plus, I have that whole party deck, just a ton of space for people to sit and hang out. Plus, if you have a bunch of stuff you need to bring, you have this big garage, be able to bring all of that with you. Or if you do have toys, you know, if you have motorcycles, quads, uh, UTVs, ATVs, you can bring all those or even a golf cart, right? That's one of them I see a lot of people that they don't want to put another trailer on the back, you know, or they can't. And so they bring a uh, they bring a golf cart right here with them and you're good to go. Now you can go cruising around the campground or wherever else, wherever else you're staying. And plus, as, and I talk about this a lot, right? Like when I go camping and I entertain, I like to have a few beverages. And I, you know, I'd like my friends to be able to partake as well. But I'm certainly not going to let them drive if they're not good to drive. So I have to make sure I have places for them to sleep. And that is another thing that the toy haulers offer. And this 287 is no exception. So with this one, you'll see you have the Happy Jack bed system. And in that system is a power lift queen bed right up top and then right down underneath these sofas will lift up too these are both roll over sofas and so you can roll both of these over and you have another queen bed on the bottom so you can comfortably sleep you know four people right back here you have two couples this one can sleep up to seven people which again is very impressive um, and, and so when these go all the way up you have a couple different options with these roll over sofas depending on what you're carrying in here right if you need the width you can roll both of these over lift both of them up as beds if you need um, if you need the height right you don't want the, the you need more height to it what you can do is you can lift them both up and then these sofas will drop along the sides so it won't be quite as wide of a space but you get more height when pulling it in and folks this is a 16 foot three inch garage over 16 foot garage here in the 287 so again if you're talking about hauling something you definitely have the garage size to do it plus this one has almost a 4,000 pound carrying capacity so again you're putting lots of stuff in here you're packing it full this one can handle it as for the seating underneath, right? So the, I, I dropped this one down to show you. Bear in mind, you can lock the bed up top and still have the sofas where they're at. So that way, you know, you're not busting your head on this sofa or, you know, it's, it's not hard to come in and out of the party deck. You can still do so. You can just leave that, the, the bed right up top. But when I sit down here, even with the bed dropped, I still can sit here, right? So um, now I, I wouldn't, I would leave it up, but the fact you can is pretty nice. Um, and again, I can easily fit three people on each side of this. So I can fit six people here, no problem. Everyone's here playing a game, hanging out. We have two more super comfortable chairs whoop, right next to it, right over here. Both of these do recline, you know, lean back, very Euro style chair. You get two of these and these are easy to move too. If you want to, you know, move them out on the party deck, you can. You want to slide them somewhere else, you can. You want to put them a little bit closer to the wall, you can do that too. And look underneath. 
excuse me, a couple things with the floor. So you have linoleum flooring. You'll see D-rings right here, right? We have several sets of those running the whole distance. But this uh, carpet right here comes with it. So this is cool too because it gives a little more residential feeling. So after you get you know, any toys you bring with you out or whatever else you had tied down, kayaks, whatever it may be, you get that out. Now you can roll this out and get a little bit more residential feel because it covers up all those D-rings. Even if you don't use this, you still have that linoleum running all the way back to the beaver tail. So um, you, know, you do get the, the easy, clean flooring essentially. And then across from those, those Euro chairs, you get another sofa. And this is a slide out right here too, folks, which is another thing that helps this space be so large and open, which again is great for entertaining space. This one, of course, folds right up against the wall when you're done. Otherwise, you have that seating space. And again, it is a rollover sofa. So this does count as another sleeping space. Bear in mind, it is not very large. So you're probably not going to get an adult there unless, unless they, you know, not only can they not drive, but they can't walk. And then maybe they don't care if it's, uh, you know, a little bit smaller bed. Uh, you get storage all the way up top. You know, nice decorative glass. Good storage space there. And then, uh, excuse me, the storage continues all the way above the kitchen into the microwave and hood. Down underneath, you have some nice countertops, you know, a little upgrade over the T-mold. Three burner cooktop at the front one being high output. Plenty of drawer space in here too. And some additional storage right over to this side. Now, the thing I love about this, when we talk about entertaining, uh, the majority of it, right, is having good space to hang out and the 287 definitely does that. You have the party deck, you have plenty of seating, but people get hungry, right? You have to feed your guests as well. And so with this kitchen, you have a ton of prep space in here. You have space for a bar if you want a bar in here. You know, you have the nice big sink, the beautiful kind of oil rub bronze high rise faucet, electric outlet over here. If you have a blender or something you need, a you know, Margaritaville machine, throw that right there. And a TV right up top. So you have a, a, a 39 inch, 40 inch TV. And you have a good viewing angle no matter where you're at in the back, right? So if you want to throw something on, everyone that is in here can see it. If you want to listen to some music, you have a great JBL sound system too. I'll show you that actually right over here. Um, you know, as we talk about the TV, take a look at that. You get the big subwoofer. You have speakers, the JBL speakers in the ceiling. That unit is right here. It is Bluetooth capable. More storage all along this wall, right? While we're looking at it, you can see storage there. You get more here. So plenty of space for everything that you need to bring with you. Lots of big, bright windows here. Uh, fridge freezer will be located there. And then you have storage by the TV as well as underneath the sink. So again, this 287, uh, the, the reason I wanted it in this, in this session is because I, I feel like it, it is truly built to entertain. Well, yes, it is a toy hauler, right? And you, you have space for the toys. If that's what you want it for, it's great for it. But it also is perfect for entertaining, having people sit around and hang out. So we walk up front real quick. I do wanna show you a few other things, folks. And we can take a walk into the bathroom and a couple different things here. One, the toilet you can see is in a great spot. So, you know, if I, if I sit down here, you know, I have plenty of room for my legs, great shoulder space as well. As we come in a little bit further, you can see the nice big countertop in here, right? The shower, obviously I have enough room to stand up. I mean, we're in a toy hauler. You get super high ceiling heights, which is great. Plus big, really big linen closet. You can throw extra clothes and everything else in there too. As we come in a little bit further, we can see right in here, this is the bedroom. Just want to show you a couple quick things in here and then we'll take a look outside but you'll see the king size bed folks so you know now that you have the seating you have the nice big bed there so you're not elbowing each other you have the wardrobe on both sides of course the shelves you have wireless charging over here right so you can just take your phone set it right on there and it will charge your cell phone you don't have to plug it in if you want to though there is an electrical outlet or if you have a cpap machine plus there's a spot for a tv right here so if you do want uh to to have a tv in the bedroom you want to watch tv before bed that's no problem you can see right there they have a uh, spot to mount that the connections for it will be right up top so again built perfectly for entertaining and then when we head outside, right, there's some great features out here too. As I said, I wish I could drop the party deck in the back, I, and I'll show you in a second how tight we are, so unfortunately we can't. As we shoot into the front storage, I wanna show you, battery disconnect is located right there. So uh, that's quick and simple, so what you can do, ah, there it is, that little key. So you can just flip that, 
and uh, that way you're not, uh, you don't have that constant drain on your battery, right? You also have power stabilizer jacks, making setup easier. You get to your campsite, you flip, a, you push that rocker switch and your jacks will drop right down, making everything nice and stable. Up top is your power awning with LED lights, a spot to mount an outside TV, right? You want TV outside, you're good to go right there. You have a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, so that way you can camp a little bit later into the season. And as we make our way around the back, so as I said, unfortunately, you can see right here, right, we just didn't have the space to drop it as much as I wish that I could. Uh, we just didn't have the room. But as we come around, whoop, messing up my shoes. As we come around the other side, I just want to show you a couple uh, last quick things. One of them is right down here. That's the fuel fill station. So if you do have toys that you want to bring with you, you have the fuel right there, so you'll be good to go. Uh, kind of like the name, right? Fuel. Um, but that way you can char or, you know, po uh, fuel up your toys, whatever else you have. And then the ladder drops down so you can climb up onto that fully walkable roof. On any RV, folks, I always recommend getting up there at least once, probably twice a year for basic inspection. If you don't want to get up there on the roof yourself, I completely understand, especially on a toy hauler, right? They are tall. It can be pretty scary. That's no problem. Bring it by a Camping World. We'll be happy to get up there for you and inspect it to make sure there's not any problems and everything's on the up and up. And if there is any issues, we will certainly let you know and give you the options uh, as far as what we can do and if you want to move forward doing uh, you know, any kind of preventative maintenance or work on there. But you always want to get up there to take a look because whether it's bird poop, whether it's sticks, whether it's sap falling from pine trees, all of that can be damaging to your roof material. So you want to make sure you're taking good care of it as well as inspecting your silicone cone making sure all your seals and everything are nice and tight right over on the other side here a couple quick things one of them so you have your two water connections right you have your fresh tank fill as well as the city water inlet right below that though is the black tank flush and this is a big one I really like this it's a great feature because that way you don't have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping just hook it up right there the sprayer is built in it will wash everything right out for you makes life super simple and then another big one and this one is you know, another reason that I love toy haulers. I have so many people that ask me about generators, right? Can I get this with a generator? Most travel trailers, and honestly, most fifth wheels, the answer is no, you can't, right? They, they don't build it in. You don't have the space for it. Most toy haulers will either have prep for it or have a generator option. I'm not saying all of them, right? Some of them certainly don't but you get the fuel station, you get the generator. So this makes you self-sufficient. So if you want a party wagon built to entertain, you can take out in the middle of the woods and have all the power you want. This one comes with that Cummins Onan 4,000 watt generator and it will power everything inside. Folks, I'm telling you, this thing right here is phenomenal. If you're interested in this one or any toy hauler, any of these ones we showed you that are built to entertain, you're gonna wanna text the word FRESH to 46642 or put FRESH in the comments section below. That way we can help you navigate, find the perfect toy hauler or travel trailer or fifth wheel it is for you. And you can shop over 100,000 pieces of inventory we have in stock and coming fresh from the manufacturer. Introducing RV123 by Camping World, the only way to buy and take delivery of your new RV, all from the comfort of your couch or camp chair. To buy your new RV the easy way, just follow these simple steps. Step one, shop till you drop. Find your perfect RV online at CampingWorld.com and schedule a live virtual walkthrough with one of our RV specialists. Step two, make it mine. Discuss financing options over the phone with a Camping World finance expert. All paperwork handled via mail. Prepaid envelopes are provided. Step three, let's go camping. Take delivery of your new RV at your home or campsite. Our certified delivery specialist will provide the same high quality walkthrough that you would receive at a Camping World dealership. There's a whole new way to buy an RV. Get your RV the easy way with RV123 by Camping World. All about the camping essentials here at the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. What's up? It's Chris Young again with my buddy Caleb from Us and that we don't know where Tiff is. But, man, camping essentials, people, once again, don't realize we have tents, sleeping bags, everything for when you're out RVing to enjoy the camping as well. Absolutely. There's so much good stuff here. Yeah. And it's really priced well. And, you know, we're on a budget. My yeah. wife 
never lets me get a lot of stuff. Yeah, she's kind of tight with she's that kinda wild. Johnny hey, 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 hey. tight wild. You think you're talking behind my back? No, shit. I am queen of stuff. Look at I already got my walking <laughs> sticks. I was hiking around Camping World this morning. Oh. Took a little snooze. Yes. Not that I was sleeping on the job or anything. Well, you know? no, 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 not at all. But I mean, you got to enjoy the comfort. Come like on, these baby, Air tents. I mean, look at this. So if you're looking for a tent, sleeping bag, you want some of the pads and some of the comfortable things that make that camping experience Did y'all so see my cotton in the back? No. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'll meet you over there. So let's go around. So that's another great thing. When you're out camping, if you got need some additional space, you do have an RV that maybe has room for a cot. Check out these campers' choice. Wow. But look at my venture forwards right here. Kev, I'm going to get around behind you because this also has the adjustable head oh. that can come up. These fold up, fit into a bag. You can easily slide into your storage. Absolutely beautiful. And Tiff, feel that. Oh, come on, let me feel this. Let me tell you. Caleb's being silent on this. He's the one that's bougie it's that true. needs all of his. Oh, what? Wait, that, we need to upgrade. Yeah, I think we need to upgrade. Let me tell you, okay. you can actually put that in your RV. This is my new pregnancy <laughs> pillow. Yeah. Hello. But if you're looking for the carry along camping essentials, whether you need the backpacks with the strap or the sleeping bags with the straps, backpacks, sleeping bags, people forget the wide assortment of sleeping bags we have, whether you're looking for something that's just going to do 50 degrees, Chris, 25 degrees, color. zero degrees. Look at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this not look just fantastic on me? I think that's great. It matches my eyes. It, do it doubles <laughs> as it. I love it. <laughs> so, and when you're a sleeping bag, you got to pitch your hammock. Yeah. It's sleep in the hammock at night. Yeah. They got tons of them. So many options. And you know, a lot of people forget that here at Camping World, we're able to get stuff that is compact enough, it's comfortable enough too, but compact enough, you got it. Maximize that space, maximize minimize space. what you're using. Your backpack in if you're going for a little day trip. Yep. Tits right in your bag. Stuff like this, these pads, the cots, the chairs, the tents, the sleeping bags. Tiff's about to fall asleep. I know. Right no, I'm, I was going to let you guys take the rest of it. I'm going to take a little snooze here. Good night, guys. I and love then, it. So many things you didn't even know you needed. Right. All here at Camping World. And then when she wakes up from her nap, uh -huh. you can get her cooking up something. Make make her a nice little snack for when she wakes up from that bacon, tough nap. Bacon, some bacon. Drain. <laughs> some bacon. After I've had my thermo rest, I'm going to hop up and get myself some bacon and eggs. I love it. I love so it. many grilling <laughs> options, too. It's so, insane. Everything you need for camping and making sure that camping is fun, exciting, affordable, mm -hmm. and compact, you're going to find a Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. From sunup to sundown, we are designing your next big adventure, building your family vacation, delivering your memories that will last a lifetime. We know it's more than just an RV, which is why we are working around the clock to bring over 80,000 RVs fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. Built by Americans for Americans and starting at less than $5 per day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World today. When we talk about travel trailers that are built to entertain, one of them that come to mind is the 2021 Silver Lake 202KRD. And why? Well, it's pretty obvious, and the main reason is right back here. You get this rear living space where everyone is very close. It feels a lot more intimate. A lot of times when you're in an RV, uh, the seating is spaced fairly apart, but right here, Everyone is very engaged in the conversation. Everyone's sitting around, hanging out, have a, having a great time. And even though it's a smaller travel trailer, uh, I shouldn't say small, right? And we're still uh, almost 30 and a half feet, but you're still under 6,500 pounds, which is pretty darn impressive. Um, but, you know, for, for being a slideless unit, right, you still have a lot of space back here. So if you're looking for something where you have a lot of seating, it, again, you get that intimate feeling, you want some, a little bit of extra sleeping space, the ability to sleep four to five, but you don't want you know, to deal with the slide, then this right here is, uh, again, a great option. So as you can see, right over there is the dinette. And I love this for a couple reasons because they actually managed to put this on the campsite. Even though it's further back than we stay, uh, usually see our dinette, you still get the big window, so you still get a view out to the campsite. Plus, there's a window in the kitchen. You can see your campsite. We'll see that in a little bit. Windows in the back, windows on the side, windows all around here. So as everyone is sitting, it's just letting in all that natural light. Feels nice and bright and airy. You have, you know, even though it's a little bit dark, 
dark of wood, you have a bright wall board, and if you have a gorgeous view out the back, you can certainly enjoy it in this floor plan, which is what a lot of people love in like some of like the 27 uh, like RL floor plans that are out there, where you have like the two swivel rockers in the back. People love having this back window because a lot of times the best views at a lot of campsites are right out the back. And if you don't have a window, you can't enjoy it, but something like this, you absolutely can. Uh, the dinette does absolutely drop down into a bed too. So if you need that, again, that additional sleeping space, you can drop that down, have some people sleep there, easy to set up. There's an electrical outlet there too if you need to plug anything in. Uh, you know, it, it's like a leatherette that they have on both the backrest and on the bottom. I like the two-tone look. It, it breaks it up so it doesn't look plain, but it's also kind of simple and modern, right? It's not overly done. I don't have like a like a paisley pattern or anything on there. And I like that. I like the, I like the just kind of a simple modern. Um, and, and like I said, plus it is easy to clean up. So if you have kids, grandkids, anything like that, they spill ice cream, you know, you can just wipe that up uh, very easily. And then right here, of course, is our sofa. And it's, it's very comfortable. It's a jackknife style sofa. So, you know, it just lifts up drops down just like that but what i want to show you is all of the storage that you get underneath you can see that right there a ton of storage which is fantastic uh nice and easy to access you have this panel right here that just pops off if you want to uh get to it without lifting up the sofa but that of course folds down into a bed again to create additional sleeping space and once again you will see an electrical outlet as well as usb port so if you want to sit here charge a cell phone laptop whatever uh you have that uh, available for you Storage across the top, LED lights. That also helps, of course, in keeping things nice and bright in here. Ducted AC system. This one also has a quick dump, and this is in a perfect location for it because, as I mentioned, chances are in this RV, this is where you'll be spending you know, 90% of your time if you're in here. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say that because you probably sleep 30% of the time you're in here. But anyway, um, you know, the majority of the time you're awake, you'll be right back here. So having the quick dump back here is fantastic because that way, you know, if it's a hot day, you can open it up, cools everyone off sitting right back here. You're hanging out, having a good time. I do love that option. Now, if it's a little bit later, maybe it's just the two of you, you know, everyone uh, went back to their campers, you know, it's after the campfire. Maybe you just want to watch a movie, rain it out, want to kick back and relax right up here is where your TV will be. So this is cool because even if you're sitting in the dinette, you still have a view to it. Probably not the most comfortable view ever, but you can still see it. And anyone sitting on the couch definitely has a great shot to it. The connections are right up top. You can see the, the AV cables hanging there. Uh, you know, I didn't want to do some cable management there when you plug them in, just kind of, uh, you know, tie them up, zip tie them behind the TV, something like that, so they're not hanging. Uh, but that connects to this multimedia center right there. And that does have an HDMI port on there. So if you, you know, have like a Blu-ray player or something like that, you want to hook up, you can pop that right into that HDMI. Um, you know, it's, it's AV, it's not HDMI coming through, so you probably won't get HD quality. But maybe if it's a standard DVD player, you will be good to go. Um, another cool thing too, and you know, this is a, again, personal preference, right? But I, I've done this in this floor plan before. Uh, I'm not going to do it now because I have shoes on, but if you take your shoes off, it's just the two of you, both people get foot rests, right? You can put your feet right up here and it's a very comfortable seat while you're watching TV. It's not very often, especially in, uh, you know, like midsize or smaller travel trailers to have like recliners or ways to put your feet up. But in this specific layout, you can do it. So it is very comfortable to be able to sit here and watch that. Uh, when we move in a little bit further, we start to get into the kitchen space. And one of the big things we've seen a lot of manufacturers do is go to something like this, which is a 12 volt refrigerator. So this is the Magic Chef. And as you can see, it is on even though we don't have shore power. So, and the, the reason for that, right, is because it's not running off 120 like a residential refrigerator, uh, it's running off 12 volt. So you still get the quick cooling that you get with residential, but it gives you the ability to do a little more boondocking because you're running off batteries. Now, what I tell people is if, if that is your plan, if you plan on, you know, going out for extended periods of time where you don't have shore power or a generator, what you'll want to do is have two uh, batteries on your coach as well as solar, so that way it will trickle charge and keep recharging that battery to make sure you're not draining a single battery down. But it does give you that ability. And again, the advantage that gives you the benefits of that residential with the nice quick cooling. It doesn't take all night to cool like your propane electric refrigerators do. Over to the side of that is pantry. So great pantry space right in there. You can see, you know, any uh, food items you have. You have plenty of room, even a cereal box, right? 
a lot of times that can be a problem in a lot of RV storage. You don't have a spot in travel trailers for larger items like cereal boxes, and here you have plenty. The rest of the kitchen, microwave up top, a little bit of storage there for your plates, cups, bowls, whatever else. Right down underneath is the upgraded countertop. You will see that it is not T-mold. It is a thermoformed or thermofoil style countertop, which means you can undermount this stainless steel bowl, which if you've seen any of my videos, you know is a huge deal to me because it makes it so much easier to clean everything up. Nice high rise faucet there as well. This is a beautiful faucet, especially at this price point, folks. This trailer for this show, you can pick this one up starting at $23,275, which is as little as $5.75 a day. If you're interested, all you have to do is text the word RV to 46642 or put the word RV in the comment section below. You also see it has a three burner cooktop, right? It's not a two burner, it's that full three burner, the front one being high output, oven underneath. Not one, not two, but three drawers in the kitchen. And you will see here, it's even a big drawer on the top, right? They made it so it's underneath the sink. They put a little blank in there so they didn't have to shorten up your drawer. So big drawers all the way through for flatware, whatever else you wanna put in there. And then you have plenty of storage there for pots and pans. Bathroom over to the sides. Check this out real quick. I'll take a seat here. Six foot tall, 210 pounds. I have plenty of leg room. Great shoulder space here. Big countertop plus a big sink. And I'm a big fan of having a large sink in the bathroom because, you know, as you're washing your hands here, if it's a small sink, it's splattering everywhere. It's making a mess. With a big sink like this, you don't have that. You know, if you're brushing your teeth and you're spitting, it's not getting all over your countertop. Just keeps things a lot cleaner. And then, as, again, countertop space, so you have space to set all those items. Mirrored medicine cabinet right there for the shower itself. Six foot tall, I can completely stand up in here. I don't have to duck down. You know, you could probably be with this skylight, maybe six two, and still be able to fully stand in here. You have the built-in shower door. You know, it's uh, it's kind of like a like a vinyl mesh almost. Cool thing about that is that it is uh, essentially mold proof. So, well, I can't say proof. Uh, it's mold resistant, right? Uh, what I mean by that is you can, if it's wet, you can just have it roll right back in, and it's not going to mold, which is. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Making our way to completely to the front is the bed, and this is really where Silver Lake start to kind of stand apart from the rest because it's a king size bed in a Silver Lake is standard. So huge bed here, which I love. LED lights up top, storage across the top, wardrobes on the side, USB ports, electric outlets, everything you need, and right here on this wall. If you want a TV in the bedroom, you still have the ability to put one right there. So that way you can watch a show before you go to bed. But even as we come outside, right? Like, you know, the, the nice features don't just stop there. As we come outside, you will see the upgraded steps right here. You have the Moride Step Above Step System. Fantastic, it's aluminum treads on there, so it's not going to rust. Folds up into the door. You get the bigger grab handle, which you're going to want, because again, uh, you know, the stairs come out a little further. So from right here, you have good control going all the way in. And as I said, folks, I'm 210 pounds. I can hop up and down these stairs, and they don't flex. Big power awning with an LED light strip on there. You know, just touch a button, roll it out. Same thing to go back in. Plus, you have the light in case you want that at night. For entertainment outside, you have speakers, so if you want to you know, listen to some music, you have the capability to do that. One speaker there, another one up front. If you want to watch TV, you can do that too. Cable outlet, electric outlet, just set up a little table out here, pop it right on there, and you are good to go. Let's say you want to do some cooking outside. I don't blame you. I do too. I love grilling when I camp. It's one of my favorite things, right? You know, being outside, just uh, flipping some burgers, flipping some meat, you know, steaks, throw them on there. You'll see right down here, that's uh, your propane quick connect. So uh, with that, you know, you can bring any grill you want, a griddle, plug it in right there, and you are good to go. And if you haven't used a griddle, I highly recommend it. Uh, we have a Blackstone and a Razor in our retail store, and I'm telling you, it will change your life when it comes to cooking. You can cook amazing breakfast on there with pancakes and eggs and bacon. You can do lunch on there with like sandwiches. You know, you can uh, grill up like a nice grilled cheese, and then, you know, at night, you wanna do like a, like a stir fry or some meat. I'm telling you, you can, those things are so darn versatile. I absolutely love it when I cook. Another thing I wanna talk about, you have um, the, the 
fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly on here. So that way, you know, it, it's kind of tough to see, but you can see it a little bit kind of right there. You can see a little bit of insulation. So what that does for you, of course, is it helps keep things a little bit warmer. So that way, you know, it'll help prevent your tanks and lines and stuff from freezing up on you while you're traveling. And folks, again, this is just one of several different Silver Lakes available. This floor plan too is not unique to Silver Lake. If you like this floor plan, but maybe you don't like something about the trailer, you know, or maybe, you know, the Silver Lakes are, they're not entry level, you know, definitely a step up. Maybe you want something that's a little more budget friendly, we have RVs available that will meet those needs. We have over 20,000 RVs on the lot, over 80,000 that are on order. And so again, we will have something. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 or drop FRESH in the comment section below. That will allow us to help you navigate and find the perfect RV for you and your needs. Because folks, this is the Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99. And patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. Sean Park, great to be back with my good friend, Rachel. And we have another ultimate giveaway. Oh, and what are we giving away, by the way, Rachel? We are giving away a $100 merchandise certificate. Here's the greatest thing about the $100 merchandise gift card. And whether it's $100 or $50, you can come into one of our retail stores at Gander RV and Outdoor or Camping World location and go, you know what? That hundred dollars is probably going to be worth about two or three hundred with the sales that we have constantly going on, the big discounts, and of course, let's not forget the Good Sam discount that you always get, right? Oh, absolutely! You got to be a member of Good Sam to get the goods. If you want to be registered for any of our giveaways, and by the way, over the next several weeks, think about this: we're giving away RVs just about every week, and over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of giveaways, and we're not messing around. We're giving away lots of vehicles, and right now. This amazing individual has a brand new gift card for $100. I'm so excited. So we have $100 to Bill Calderera. Bill Calderera, he, he did it. He registered. Yep. He texted URVS, Ultimate RV Show, to 46642. He got registered. You can too. And Ian now, very busy today. He's jumping into our uh, East to West series. These are the RVs built to entertain, and let's put Ian back to work right now. When we talk about travel trailers that are built to entertain, this layout right here has to be among some of the top. It's a layout that we've seen for many years in the fifth wheel side, but it wasn't until about three, maybe four years ago or so that they started to bring it into the travel trailer side. And honestly, I am very glad they did because it is truly an awesome layout. What they've done is you get dual opposing slides, which really opens up this main living area and the kitchen, and that also allows for a kitchen island. And I don't know about you that are watching this at home, but for me, I use my kitchen island at home a ton. And so I love the fact that they're able to put one in an RV as well. Um, and so the reason this is so good for entertaining is because you have a lot of seating all the way around. And so, you know, whether you're sitting here having conversation in the dinette, in the recliners, back on the sofa. Everyone can be involved in the conversation. Even if you know, you're know you watching TV or just having a, or, you know, just talking, or if you're in here preparing a meal or you know, getting a snack ready, maybe making some drinks. Everyone is involved in this main section. It's a very open concept, right? We see that a lot in the residential side, kind of the open floor plan, and that is exactly what you have here in the East to West Silver Lake 29K2S. Now, folks, this one is about 30, just over 36 foot long, coming in a little under 8,200 pounds dry. Has the capability to sleep up to five people. Uh, you essentially have two up front, two on the sofa, one here in the dinette. We'll get to that in just a moment. Another thing I do like about this one is the fact it has a 60 gallon gray tank, as well as a 45 gallon fresh tank. So if you plan on doing a little bit more boondocking, where you don't have water hookups, you know, you have a little bit bigger than normal tank. A lot of times you'll have 30 gallon, uh, 30 gallons all the way through. So 
you know, you get uh, like 50% more holding capacity for your fresh and then double your holding capacity on the gray, which is great. Let's take a look at the uh, camp side slide right here. And we'll start off with the dinette. Now, I really like the, the color patterns that they've chose here. It's very simplistic, but it breaks it up a little. It's still nice and light. That's one of the things I really like about the, the 2021 Silver Lakes is they really brighten things up. Looks wonderful. You have easy access storage. You can see that right here. We'll pull that out. Take a look at that. Right, super simple and easy to get to. The table drops down into that uh, that fifth uh, that fifth sleeping spot, so you can have a person sleep there. Plus, you will have the um, uh, electrical outlet underneath. Sorry, I blanked for a second. Uh, you'll have an electrical outlet down there, so if you need to plug anything in, you have the capability to do that too. Windows all the way around, you can see that. Plus, you have a USB port right here by the dinette. Um, and you know what? And I apologize. This is a very deep dinette. I bet you, you can probably get two people sleeping here. So, I mean, take a look at this, right? If I'm sitting here, I have plenty of room for another person sitting as well. Um, I really like that because there are different sizes of dinettes, right? They're not all built the same. And for me, you can see I have plenty of room to the table, which can, you know, sometimes be an issue, as well as I have plenty of space for my legs to the bottom of the table. Because I've had that be an issue too, where the table is like sitting on top of my legs and there's nothing comfortable about that. But right here, I have a lot of room, plenty of space for another person. You can sit here, you can play a game. And with this layout, you still get the campsite dinette because as I always say, that's the view I want right there. I wanna look out at my campsite, not out at my neighbors. I'm sitting here having my morning coffee, right there is what I wanna see. Couple LED lights up top really help brighten up this space at night. Plus, as I mentioned, you have windows all the way around to let in that natural light during the day. Now, moving to the side, right, and this is where some floor plans kind of differ. So sometimes here, uh, these rear living floor plans will have theater seating. This one happens to have two separate recliners. And, you know, it just kind of pops up just like that. If you want to lean back, you can. You have to pull it away from the wall a little bit to do so, but both of them have the capability to do it. And it's comfortable and straight across from the TV. And then across the back is the jackknife sofa. So again, you want to talk about excellent conversation space. You can have people here, people here in the dinette. I mean, you can easily have what? Uh, you have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people all just sitting. You know, you have nine uh, places for people to actually sit. And that's not including, right, the, the all too common, at least for me, is sitting right here enjoying a glass of wine or an old fashioned sitting here talking uh, at the bar top, right? My, <laughs> my wife, Nicole, uh, if you ever meet her, you can ask her. And one of the things that just drives her nuts is that I uh, stand a lot when I eat. I don't know why. I just, I like to stand when I eat. I do the same thing when I drink. You know, I'll be talking to people, having a conversation. I just like to stand up. And so for me, this is like home base, right? So I can sit here and I can talk to everyone all the way around. And look how big this island is. I mean, you know, on both sides, you have a ton of prep space, which I love. It is the upgraded countertop too. You know, it allows you to undermount that stainless steel sink. It gives you that high rise faucet. You have storage, you know, right here underneath for pots, pans, everything else you need. Yeah, I'll open it up for you. Take, take a peek in there, right? So plenty of space for your pots and pans there. And uh, it's, it, like I say, it's just very functional, both for entertaining as well as for preparing food, which is exactly what it is built to do. On both sides of the couch, I should probably mention there are uh, end tables. So, you know, again, if you want to have a beverage or something, set it down, you can. Plus there's storage underneath both of them, and that's nice deep storage. And then you have electrical outlets, USB ports, windows, and more storage going across the top. Now, if you want to watch a show, you get the TV here. Um, you know, I, this one for me, it's, it's a little <laughs> underwhelming for the size. Uh, there are other manufacturers out there that have a similar floor plan that put a little bit bigger TV in. Uh, and that's something, of course, you can always change out if you want something bigger. But the thing that they did do, because it is a little bit smaller, is they really gave you more storage, right? So you get the storage up top here, as well as the storage all the way through here. So, you know, they, they do get some really good pantry storage. Um, but, you know, that, again, the, the TV for me, if, you know, if, if I'm having this as entertainment space, I might want something a little bit bigger. And, and here's the great thing. You know, we do have other manufacturers that put in bigger TVs or slightly, you know, different arrangements, you know, have theater seating across from the TV. And if that's something you're interested in, 
All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 and our specialists will help walk you through that and show you some of those other floor plans, some of those other manufacturers to see maybe if that's what you want. Now, there's definitely a lot about the east to west, especially this 29K2S that I absolutely love and starting with the interior colors. And as you can see, it is nice and bright and you get the upgraded countertops. You know, when we go outside, you'll see you get the upgraded steps and fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Uh, you have the, the powder coated deposition of automotive style frame. Like, they do a lot of things in here that, that really from the build quality to the design and aesthetic that definitely make it worth it. But, you know, again, that's something that we're able to help you out with. All you have to do is use that keyword fresh and we'll be there to help guide you through. Underneath that TV, folks, is also a fireplace. Now, this is one of those things that often get overlooked. People are like, okay, Ian, that's overkill. Why do I want a fireplace? Well, because not only does this look great, but more importantly, that's a space heater, folks. And if you're plugged in, you have shore power, that means that's free heat, right? Because you don't have to use your propane. Now, is it going to heat up the entire camper? No, of course not, right? It doesn't have the BTUs to do it. But will it do a good job in this main living room? Yeah, it'll, it'll raise it a few degrees, you know? And, and you, I don't know about you at home, uh, but growing up, I love my parents to death, but like 67, 68 degrees, right? That's where we had it at winter. And it was a little cold, and I'd have to wear a sweatshirt. If I can use this fireplace and bump you know, back up two degrees to 70, maybe three degrees to 71, that's all I need, and I'm super comfortable sitting inside here. So it really does a great job. I really personally love having a fireplace. You notice microwave up top, more storage, big countertop space here, electrical outlet, uh, you have storage underneath, as well as a bank of three drawers, so plenty of drawer space, three burner cooktop with an oven, 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator, which I absolutely love because it cools down nice and quick like a residential one. You have a travel lock here. Uh, and you know, if you have two batteries and solar, you can basically run that nearly indefinitely because that solar will trickle charge it and you have those two batteries for plenty of power. And if that other pantry wasn't enough space for you, look at that. I mean, you have space for, you know, that are tall enough. You can fit in big uh, cold cereal boxes. You can put you know, uh, if you want a bar, right? You can put little bar space in there. You have plenty of room for bottles. That is a big, big storage space. I love having that there. Little extra here, and it will also show, this one has the Shaw flooring, and I love the color choice they've done. It's got a little bit wider tile look to it. It's a beautiful gray, and uh, kind of getting that, that grayish look is what I like to call it, right? Where you start to blend the grays and the browns, the beiges, uh, kind of get that grayish, and I think that East to West has absolutely nailed it. Taking a quick step into the bathroom, I want to show you a couple things here. One, you do have a motion sensor light, so as soon as you step in, it turns on. Just makes things very effective, so you don't have to try to find a switch in the middle of the night if you have to get up and use the bathroom. Big linen closet here, as well as a large shower. Folks, I'll step in here. You can see, I mean, I'm six foot tall. I could be 6'2", maybe 6'3", not have to worry about ducking down, and I can spin side to side and still have plenty of space. So if you want to, you know, if you're looking for something, if that's important to you to have a big shower, because not all RVs do, right? It's another big selling point for me for the, for the uh, Silver Lake, uh, especially this floor plan, is that it has that big shower. And then when we come into the bedroom, again, another big selling point. East to West, as a standard, has a king size bed, so you're not elbowing each other in the middle of the night. You have storage on both sides. You have your own little drawer space. You have cubby holes behind it, plus USB ports there. So if you need to plug anything in, you can. You have a spot to hook up a TV right here, and you have additional wardrobe space over to the side. So, you know, if you wanna talk about a comfortable bedroom, this is a comfortable bedroom space. That big bed makes it very comfortable. You can watch a show. You have plenty of storage. And again, you know, there's a lot to love in this, in this Silver Lake, folks. You know, you have the big storage tanks, you have the king size bed, you have the big shower, you have the beautiful layout, an excellent one for entertaining. Again, it's a Silver Lake 29K2S. If you're interested in this one, this one is starting at 28,415 or as little as $7 and two cents a month, folks. That makes this unit very affordable. If we take a quick look at the front here, I do just wanna show you a couple great features. I talked about having the solar, right? If you plan on running that, that fridge, right here you go. It is already prepped. All you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and you are good to go. The pass-through is completely finished off. It gives it a very clean look. It also makes it so if you have items that are a little bit taller, they're not gonna rub up on rafters, right? They'll slide in and out nice and easily. And of course you have lights in there. Those lights are motion sensor just like we had in the bathroom. 
Couple other quick features I wanna hit on. Of course, you get the power awning with LED lights. You have speakers there in case you wanna listen to music, hook up for TV. The more ride step above steps, fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. Folks, I'm telling you, this thing is loaded and it's at a phenomenal price. If you love this Silver Lake 29K2S, you're like, Ian, this is the one for me. Then you're gonna to wanna to text the word RV to 46642 or drop RV in that comment section below. That will lock in your show pricing. And as I said, folks, this one right here is starting as little as $7.02 a day. Demand for RVs is at historic levels, which is why we are working around the clock to bring you over 80,000 factory fresh RVs. That's the largest selection of RVs in the world, fresh from the factory to our stores, to your driveway or campsite. RVs are made by Americans for Americans. And now you can see America for less. Shop over 80,000 factory fresh RVs, starting at just $5 a day. Click, call, or visit your local Camping World or Gander RV and Outdoors today. Sooner or later, everyone's bound to encounter someone in need. If you're one of the stopping kind, chances are it was passed down. Hey, Mom. Some good that you observed from early on. Call it going the extra mile or paying it forward. We just call it being good. Spend a lifetime doing good. Thank you. Because the next generation is watching.